In order to extend the scientific investigation possibilities offered by the Electra Research Center, a new light source has been built alongside the synchrotron storage ring. Its name is Fermi, and it is a fourth generation light source called Free Electron Laser. It produced its first light at the end of 2010. Among existing Fell sources, Fermi is unique in many respects. It is able to produce intense and short flashes of extremely pure light capable of beaming and filming the dynamic behavior of matter. But how can that be? In order to grasp this, let us enter the first part of Fermi, a tunnel nearly 200 meters in length. There we find a photo injector, a device shooting packets of electrons at a speed that approximates the speed of light. We then follow the electron's trajectory inside the tunnel, like spectators of an energy race. The electrons, here seen as small red spheres, pass into the tunnel through a sequence of electromagnetic fields, represented in the simulation by colored arrows. Thanks to the thrust of the electromagnetic field, the electrons gain more and more energy, and we can picture them as surfers gaining speed as they surf the waves. In the video the electrons change color as their energy increases. The chromatic scale shown at the bottom of the screen enables us at any given time to read the corresponding energy level of the electrons. At the end of this first section of the tunnel the electrons, now represented by green spheres, have acquired enough energy to take the next step, during which the pack of electrons becomes more compact. How does it do that? By passing through the bunch compressor, a sort of magnet packager which compresses the incoming electron's beam length. This sequence is repeated a few times and the final outcome is the production of electron bunches, represented in light blue that are shorter and full of energy. Our journey through the first part of Fermi is now over. The door you are looking at now points towards the transition to the second part of the machine where the electron bunches pass through a sequence of magnetic devices that force them to follow an undulating path. In the first device called modulator the electrons encounter a laser wave represented in the video by a colored serpentine. The interaction with the electromagnetic field of the laser creates a spatial modulation of energy in the electron bunch which is well defined and due to the laser features. In the next step the energy modulation of the electrons inside the bunch is transformed into a density modulation thanks to three magnetic devices in sequence. The electrons are then concentrated in subgroups, forming many smaller bunches. At this point, the new electron microbunches enter the radiator, where the constant deflection of electrons from the rectilinear trajectory stimulates the emission of light. The electrons, represented in blue, and the light they produced, represented as a white trail, now proceed in the same direction. The typical functioning process of a free electron laser, like Fermi's, occurs at this very point. An interaction takes place between the electrons and the light, a dialogue of sorts, which enables the electrons to arrange themselves into a well-defined structure dictated by the wavelength of light. In other words, the electrons and the light are bound by a condition of harmonic oscillation in which the light produced gains an increasing intensity. It is similar to what happens with the strings of a violin. They resonate with one another, producing a more and more intense sound. By the end of the path, beyond the magnetic field, the small bunches of electrons will have produced extremely short and intense pulses of light 
in a never-ending and self-sustaining interaction. These pulses of light will finally be sent to the experimental hall, where they will be directed on the samples to be studied. On its experimental beam lines, Fermi opens unique opportunities for exploring the structure and transient states of condensed matter using a variety of diffraction, scattering and spectroscopy techniques. The light pulses produced by Fermi are a unique instrument made available to the research community and industry alike, providing access to the nanoscopic world and enabling researchers to follow the evolutions occurring in chemical reactions on extremely short timescales of one millionth of a billionth second.